Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, November 20th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Name that fills in the blanks to make another name. Hmm, looks like this is Savannah, so this would be Ava. Audibly shocked. I think this has to be a gasp because it's audible. Large size at Starbucks. That's a venti. Room under a roof. Hmm. What is this going to be? Acquires. That should be gets. Oh, so this is an attic. It's directly under the roof. Prefix with toxin or oxidant. That would be antitoxin, antioxidant. Not moving. That should be still. Some high-end headwear. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. Mario's brother. Okay, that's definitely Luigi. So what do we have on this first long across here? This has got to be a theme answer. We have circles. Exasperated cry you might make when being turned over to voicemail. <laughs> this has got to be... Pick up the phone. <laughs> That's a pretty funny one. So this starts with silk. I guess this is maybe silk hats because it's headwear plural. Our answer needs to be plural too. Bring on staff. That should be hire. Manufacture. I think this is create. Yeah. Sure thing. I guess this could be a cinch. Let's look at these acrosses here. Build up over time. Yeah, that should definitely be a crew. Foes opposite? That would be a friend, right? Toward the back at sea. That is aft. Zellweger of Bridget Jones Diary. That's Renee Zellweger. Half of duo. Hmm. So duo is two, so we need a prefix that means one. Would that be uni, like unicycle? Masthead figures, and because we have an abbreviation in our clue, our answer should be abbreviated as well. The masthead is the list of people who contributed to a magazine. So I think this is going to be editors, yeah. Where to find singles, a match, and a love? This is a wordplay clue. That's indicated by this question mark here. What we have to do with wordplay clues is a look for a punny answer. So this is not about dating, even though that's what it sounds like. You'll also find singles, a match, and a love in a tennis game. Um, it can't be a tennis match because we have match in the clue. Hmm, I'm not sure how this is going to end. Congeal. So this is like solidify? Hmm. Curl up and cuddle together. I think this should be spoon. Yeah, that's cuddling together. Have a ball at the mall. Hmm. Is this about eating something that's in a ball shape? I'm not sure what this question is asking about. Blank stick. Toy. This has got to be a pogo stick. Okay. Meanie. Looks like this is an ogre. Blank and pans. That should be pots and pans. Oh, so is this just shop? You're having fun at the mall? Oh, and this looks like it has to be a tennis court. Yeah, that's where you would find all these tennis related things. So what do we have in our circle so far? I-C-U-T. I-C-U-T. Okay, and we have an I here, so it looks like all of our circles are going to have I-C-U-T in them. I cut? That's interesting. That's kind of a weird phrase. Congeal. I guess this could be clot, yeah. Misplaces, that'll be loses. Congressional VIP. Okay, well, this is the House, the House of Representatives. I don't know how it's going to end, though. 
conflict of 1914 to 1918 in brief. That would be World War I. Neighbor of Bolivia. I suppose that's Peru. All right. Gobble down should be eat. Bob, buzz, or beehive. Those would all be an example of a haircut. Yeah. Okay. Apple device assistant. That is Siri. Cunning. If you're cunning, you're sly. Spanish suffix with senor. This could be a senorita. All right. Series of steps. That would be a process that you're following, yeah. We are cleared for takeoff, and these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. Uh, a go. Maybe it's, it's a go? Yeah. Computer debut of 1998. That has to be the iMac. Toothpaste holder is a tube. Wait till morning to decide something. If you do that, you sleep on it. Okay, let's take a look at this nice big grid spanner here. Form of social diversity. Wouldn't you call that multiculturalism? Yeah, nice. Bit of smoke. That would be a wisp. Your wish is my command. That's something a genie would say. Greek letter before chi's. I'm pretty bad with the order of Greek letters. This could be a couple of different things. Congressional VIP. I guess this could be the house whip, the person in charge of corralling votes. So, is this phi's? Be kind, follow the rules, etc. If this was a P, it could be play nice. Yeah. Really bad informally. That would be crappy. In the shape of a rainbow. Rainbows are arced. So what do we have here? Peanuts character who pranks Charlie Brown with a football. Yeah, that's always Lucy. Blank tax, Monopoly Square. That's luxury tax. What do we have here? One named singer from Ireland. We get to see Enya again. She was on the Sunday puzzle. Condo for one. That would be a unit in a building. Greek letter after Kai. It's looking like this has to be Psi. So I guess it goes Phi, Kai, Psi. <laughs> Maybe I can remember that. Or Derv's spread. That would be a pate. So this is our last theme answer. Disposable bit of cutlery. That looks like a plastic utensil. Yeah, so it is I cut all the way through. Interesting. I wonder what this means. This makes no sense to me. Midday meal. That would be lunch. Too rich for my blood. Another equivalent phrase. I'm out. You're out of the poker game. Some Italian desserts. In New York City, we have Italian ices. Act dejected. I think this should be mope. So we have Epic, huge, and Seth. Seth Meyers of Late Night. Yeah. So this might be a revealer. Let's take a look at this. The Constitution State. Or, when parsed differently, what you gradually do with this puzzle circled letters. Oh, so this has to be Connecticut, right? Uh, yeah. And if we parse it differently, the instructions are connect I C U T. And that's why the letters are getting closer and closer together. Oh, wow. That is a wild theme. I did not expect this. That is so funny. What a funny Connecticut theme. All right, well, let's finish off these last two sections here. Journalist Gwen. That is Gwen Eiffel. She was on PBS. Drink served with marshmallows. That's definitely cocoa. 
So we have fox, cunning animal. Yeah, that's a sly animal. In abundance. This looks like it has to be galore. Sci-fi film tech for short. Yeah, that's computer generated imagery. Color of khakis, that's tan. French for your. Ooh, I don't know this one. Embedded pieces. I guess that has to be inlays. So this is Tess or Tay? Yeah, I've definitely not seen that before. Dog from down under. That would be a dingo. Cow's offspring should be a calf. Acronym for a quartet of entertainment awards. That would be the Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony, the EGOT. Unexpected problems. That's snags. We hit a snag on yesterday's puzzle too. Ice house. And this is more wordplay, so... I guess it's not about a house where you would store ice. This is going to be a house that's made of ice. An igloo, yeah. High as goals. Those are going to be lofty goals. So we have soy. Soy sauce, yeah. Excellent. All right. Let's throw this Y in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right. A Monday puzzle in 15 minutes. So we had a wild Connecticut theme today. We had to parse the state name a little differently to get Connect ICUT. And then that's what's happening in all of the circled squares in the rest of our theme answers. Yeah, these were really nice long entries too. Tennis court, pick up the phone, multiculturalism, and plastic utensil. We also got some really nice Monday wordplay. I loved this clue for tennis court, where to find singles, a match, and a love. Yeah, that sounds very romantic, but they're all found in a tennis court. And we also got a punny clue for igloo, ice house. All right, well, I hope all you Connecticut Yankees out there enjoyed that Monday solve. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.